Today, it is one year since the UK first went into lockdown. Since the 23rd of March 2020, we have journeyed together through difficult times. We have experienced the closure of schools and the development of online learning. Each school has adapted, and we are proud to say that we've worked through the challenge of COVID-19 together as a team. However, these have been difficult times, and we have all been affected. Many families have experienced sickness due to COVID-19, but thankfully, most have recovered. For this today, we give thanks. Sadly, over the last year, millions of people have lost loved ones and have experienced the pain of loss and bereavement. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, many haven't been able to attend the funeral of their loved one. In addition, many people haven't been able to grieve without the comfort of friends and family around them. Today is the day we acknowledge the grief and loss that they have experienced over the last year. This day of reflection provides us with an opportunity to connect with someone who is grieving. Perhaps we could have a chat with them, send them a card or message, or give them some spring flowers. Loving God, you hold all our times in your hands, our past, our present, and our future. Be close to us now, as we remember all the difficulties and disappointments of the past year. Be especially close to all of us who are thinking of someone we loved and knew, but see no longer, whether that is a family member, friend, colleague, or neighbour. Help us to trust that you are with peace with you, and comfort us with your presence. Amen. Amen. So many people have now died. Each one missed by partners, friends, family, neighbours, colleagues. to come together. In our communities. And as a nation. To reflect on our collective loss. Reach out and show the millions who are grieving. They're not alone. We pray for those who have died, whether family members, friends, or those unknown to us personally. May God our Father welcome them into his heavenly home. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have suffered during this last year, whether through illness, stress, financial disaster or family tensions. We pray for their ongoing resilience, courage and capacity to forgive. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the generosity, inventiveness, self-sacrifice and determination shown by so many in this difficult time. We pray for them thanking God for their gifts and dedication. Whether they are scientists, politicians, health workers, public servants of every kind, community leaders, or steadfast family members and friends who continue to show such love and compassion. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. As we pray and hope that as the pandemic is controlled, and we open our lives again, we will gather in the lessons we have learned and build our society into a better shape, more compassionate, less marked by inequalities, more responsive to needs and deprivation. We ask for the inspiration of the Holy Spirit to guide and strengthen us in this endeavor. Whether we are focusing on overcoming family breakdowns, economic recovery, or building political consensus, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May Tuesday the 23rd of March be a great day of prayer that this pandemic comes to an end and that the gift of God's Holy Spirit will carry us all forward to a new and better life, both here and in the world to come. 